Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number six, I've decided to talk about the font awesome icons and how you can add them to your Adobe Muse website. Uh, for those who are not familiar with the font awesome icons, they're just really nice icons that you can use for your website. Uh, in this case, we'll be using it for our Adobe Muse website here. All right, so there's tons of icons that you can use. There's social media icons and just icons for anything you can think of. Uh, so it's a really useful icon set. So to use these icons, you can install it directly into Adobe Muse and then use the icons from the glyphs panel in Adobe Muse. And these icons are free. Um, so to get the icons, uh, you just go to uh, fontawesome.io and then you can click on get started. Uh, you can click on icons to see the different icons, but we'll click on get started. And then here you can download the icon set. So I'll click download. And then here I'll just say, uh, no thanks, I just want the font awesome. They do have some more fonts at uh, Fort Awesome as well. Um, so I've downloaded the font awesome set. I've actually already downloaded it, so I have it here. Uh, so I'll just double click, and then I'll open the folder, and then I'll click on fonts here. And then I'll install the .ttf, so I'll double click, and install font and it'll install the font onto my computer. So I'll install checked. I think it's telling me that because I've already have it installed, um, but there I've installed the font awesome fonts. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go into Adobe Muse, and then we need to go to file and add remove web fonts here. And then we wanna click on self-hosted, and here I'll click on add fonts. So underneath self-hosted, there's this plus, uh, plus symbol that says add fonts next to it. So I'll click add fonts. And then here we need to drag and drop .woff, .eot, and .svg files. So if I go into that font awesome folder, uh, we have the .eot, the .svg, and the .woff. So I'll click hold and drag and just place it right in there. And then I'll click here by clicking continue. I affirm I've properly licensed the above fonts for website use. Uh, so if you know, you're installing a font and it has some type of license, you might want to take a look at it. But with Font Awesome, we are good. So I'll hit continue. I'll check that and hit continue. And then I'll click OK. Uh, so now I have access to all of the Font Awesome icons. So if I go into the text option here to the left, I'll create a text box. And then to use the Font Awesome icons, I'll go to the text option here. And you know I can type in Font Awesome. And then here's the Font Awesome uh, web font. We want to use it as web fonts. Um, so there we have it. Uh, we now have what font awesome selected so then i'll go to glyphs and here are all the font awesome icons if you don't see the glyphs panel you can go to window and click on glyphs and then i can enter in uh, any any icon i want and just make it as large as i want and change the color just like that looks good uh, so that's using the font awesome icon set um, it's a great set uh, if you did want to look at all the icons, you could just go to the fontawesome.io website and uh, take a look at all the icons they have there. And they're all accessible here in the glyphs panel right here. And you know, you could have a lot of fun with these. Like if I wanted to bring in the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget and just add some animations to the icons for the website, I could do that as well. I'll just show that as a quick example and just add the graphic style name on scroll one and we'll have it uh, we'll have it uh, slide right just like that and I'll bring it down and add some scroll space just like that and I'll preview in the browser scroll down and we can see the icon slides right so you can have some really nice animations with you know with the icons and just make it look really nice for your website. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, again, the icons, you install them, and then you use the text option, and you have access to all the glyphs here. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. And I will leave a link uh, here to in the bottom in the description area to fontawesome.io. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.